So I'd like to talk to you quickly about Calabra Online. It's awesome, and uh, it drops into the beautiful Nextcloud. Yeah, well, thank you, thank you. Um, and, um, and, and here is sort of how it looks. So um, I'm going to have to sort of turn this thing around and try and type and talk at the same time. So let me, oh, this is exciting mouse as well. It's a high-speed one. All this high-speed development is awesome. So uh, let me click on this guy. So uh, we provide effectively LibreOffice uh, running inside your browser, running embedded inside Nextcloud, and we can render all sorts of uh, good things. Let me try and show you a slideshow uh, that has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm saying, really. Uh, so that's all fun. The mouse is really hyperactive. Whose laptop is this? Yoss. Yoss obviously types at like a thousand characters a second or something. Um, so uh, <clears throat> anyway, anyway, this is nice because you can see uh, we, we've we've actually used LibreOffice on the server now to convert your slideshow to an SVG. I'll just keep uh, pressing here, and you're seeing a whole load of animations and transitions and, and crazy stuff going on here. I don't know these change color and fade and turn into you know all, all of this stuff. Actually, interestingly, some of these things you can't do in the uh, in the Office 365 version. So uh, so that, that, that's pretty fun. Uh, but you can see here you can uh, uh, switch slides and you can even type with one hand in Latin. Which is good. Uh, I don't know what people say in Latin, but uh, Caecilius in Horto Laborat, something like that. Anyway, Matella in Triclinio said it, apparently. Um, anyway, so uh, that's, oh, crikey, the back button is up. Yeah, so that's presentations. I think, uh, was that a PowerPoint file? I think it was an ADP file. There's some degree of faff going on here. What else? Uh, spreadsheets, uh, pretty fun. I like this one because it has a nice message in it. Um, so, so what you're seeing here is essentially an iframe. Um, Andras will talk about how the information gets from Nextcloud into uh, Collabora Online. And uh, hey, you can see a, a pretty pretty timeline and fool around with it. And you can even put formulae in if you like formulae. I don't know who does, but uh, you know, so uh, I don't know. A1 plus 42. I don't think there's anything in A1. And uh, drat. OK, so you can see the thing. But for some reason, there's a weird formatting thing, so you can't see the blinking output. Anyway. I should practice my demos. It would make life better. Um, but the punchline is you can calculate spreadsheets. And if I can uh, show you one uh, that's actually got something in it. You know, people like to make all these. I mean, like, who would do a timeline in a spreadsheet? What a silly thing to do. Anyway, it looks pretty. That's the main thing. Uh, let's try, uh, try this guy instead. He, he's better. He has a chart in, which is, which is pretty. And tastefully colored, or maybe not. I don't know. I blame the projector. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it looked beautiful on my machine. Um, so uh, let's try, uh, you know, you can change your number here and, uh, you know, change the point range, update your charts, collaborate with your other users. And now the shipping version of this, and we're shipping this, and you can buy it today through Nextcloud. You can go and see uh, Olivia at the background and uh, Andre or something and, you know, just, just get it today. Um, the shipping version allows multiple people to uh, view the document. So in your meeting, you can all get into it, uh, but only one guy can edit at once. Um, which is, on one hand, uh, uh, good because it's shipping and you can use it and you can collaborate and enjoy uh, the productivity wins that gives. Uh, but I'd also like to show you the next uh, generation. Now, really, what you want to do is you want to come to the workshop later for a much more detailed view and uh, discussion about how you can get involved and uh, get working on this. But let, let's see if I can... Uh, well, I'll just show you something. Uh, I'll show you this one. For, this, I quite like this one um, because it's, it's, it's quite pretty in some ways, you know, so... It, look, it looks like a web page, but isn't. So you know, you, uh, another thing I should probably mention is that we're doing this all with tiles, actually. So is this? Uh, so whilst you have quite a nice selection, uh, you know, experience, you know, here it's, it's relatively responsive, although it's selecting whole cells. So mm, it's a terrible demo. Um, it, it works quite nice. Actually, all of it is. Um, uh, is this Google Chrome? Oh, I can press F12. Can I? And I get a. Okay. Something else completely happens. Anyway, come to the workshop later and see how it's all tiles and pictures underneath. So although it's, it appears interactive and just like a, an office suite should, um, it's actually all uh, quite, quite exciting under the hood. But that does mean you get this very rich, um, rich experience of you know, uh, full font features, full layout. Um, what you see in LibreOffice is what you see in Nextcloud's uh, you know, Collabora Online integration. Uh, you know, your complex text, your Japanese fonts, your mixed Hebrew and you know right to left, whatever it should all render uh, beautifully, just as it does on the desktop. Uh, so anyway, I mentioned collaboration being a key key win here, and so I'm. Uh, this is the this is the stuff. So so everything I'm saying now is designed to encourage you to buy the version that we ship now, <laughs> so that 
you can then upgrade tr trivially later to, uh, to something even better. Um, so, so the great thing about this is that I don't have to type, so Andres can type, um, which is all good. And if you see down here, there's a very pixelated box, unfortunately, which has two users on it, which is all very nice. And you can see their names, except it's very, very light, and uh, unfortunately. But it, uh, let me t translate. This is me, or something like that, and Andres Tima, so, who is sitting in the front row. Yeah, see, look at that. Yeah. And so we can both type at the same time, which is quite nice. And I can, I can mouse over his cursor. Of course, there's only one of him, but we could have uh, really a lot more. We, we do our, our team meetings. I can be typing here, and Andres can be typing down there. Or I can, why don't you move the next cloud image around? You know you want to, Andres. That's, that's all good fun. So you can see his, his selection there. And you know we can be we can be fooling around at the same time. Interestingly, what what Andres just did, you can't do in Office 365 online. So actually, seeing where your image is, getting a WYSIWYG view of your or document, is not possible in Office 365 Word. So, so that, that, that little just moving it around and seeing the text real it just doesn't happen there. Uh, simply because it's an HTML preview, squashed pages, whatever. It's, it just can't be done, which is crazy. Now let's try and do something really stupid and break this while we're watching, and then I'll go and shut up. Uh, so. So I'm going to type down here, and hopefully I can delete Andrash. Why don't you come and join me, Andrash, so I can delete your cursor while you're, while you're typing. Come on, you know you want to. Select some text, you know. OK, where is Andrash? I'm going to kill him. Wait a second. Here we go. You saw it here first, you know, the brutal, the brutal damage. So, so the nice thing about this is that all of this is going into a single instance. There's a single process of LibreOffice hiding behind the scenes. So whilst it looks like we're acting concurrently, of course, it's all a cheating action. You know, the computer is so quick uh, that it processes Andres's keystroke whilst holding a big mutex, and then it processes mine. And the net result is that we appear to type uh, interactively, but it's so uh, blindingly fast that uh, no one notices. And uh, life is good. So I think that's pretty much it. Come to a workshop later. Uh, here, Andrew is lightning talk in a minute, and that's me. Thank you. <laughs>